Hey everybody. So my um, new foundation came in late yesterday. So I'm trying to get rid of the shine. And right, well, I guess that's just what it is. So my new foundation came in and got in late so I didn't have time to do a video of it. Um, but I'm going to use some new products today that I haven't showed you guys in my videos before. So first to start off with, I did my first ever Black Friday um, deal with Unique this morning. And I did purchase one extra mint chocolate lip exfoliator. Um, if anybody is interested in that, let me know. I will give you the, the price on that. Um, so if there's any questions on any of that, I like I said, I, I got my extra one just in case somebody wanted it and they didn't place their order because they're already selling out. So, and it was, it was crazy. Hey, bub. So I've got that one extra um, mint chocolate lip exfoliator and one extra of the buttercream. And I got that in clear. I got myself um, the red just to see, which I'm glad I did because the red already had sold out not long after. So I'm going in. I got my new, my actual winter color in because before I was wearing my summer color because my spray ran out. And we are going to see. Mommy wants that, please. Please. Here, I'll give you a different brush. I'll give you a different brush. Oh, hush your butt. Here, you can have this. You ready? You ready? Okay. Sorry, everybody. There, here, you take this, take mommy's blush brush. Okay. Now you go play, okay? Now you more. He has a train in one hand and he needs one of my brushes. So, I also reordered my spray foundation in the same winter color uh, since I already have my stick in my summer color. But since I already know how that color looks on me, the spray color, I went with the I stick today since I haven't tried that. Thing. Where's what other thing, babe? This So this is definitely more my color because I don't have that like undertone. So to give you all some advice, if you decide you want to do Black Friday sales um, with Unique on your own and not order through me, I was online at 8 a.m. You could get in line by 8.15, so I had it up. That way I could just click on it. Well, it froze and didn't show me the link until 819. And by 819, this tells you anything, four minutes after the lines opened, it had me at number like 1,490 something in line. So I was like, oh great, maybe I won't get anything. And then, apparently, I didn't know this, but the lines don't open until nine, like you get in line, but we can't order anything till nine. It's just like waiting. And my, by like nine oh five, it was ready for me to place my order, which went far quicker than I thought it would be being that number. And there were only a couple glitches, which is pretty good for having a site being over overworked. Like, the one glitch was, I kind of had me a little nervous, but, um, I'm on there, and it says it's my turn to place my order, which, great, but for those of you who haven't done this before, you have 20 minutes to place your order, and then it kicks you to the end of the line. So, I was like, okay, well, I go to, I'm trying to place my order, it has no links for me to even 
purchase anything. Like, it doesn't show anything up. And I'm like, great. And then something pops up, and it's like, are you wanting to keep your place in line? Are you ordering? Like, yes, please don't kick me out. I've already been waiting. So, that was fun. And then, finally, it popped the screen up for me to order. And when I went to checkout, which I guess I wasn't the only one that had this issue. I was talking with my teammates. And I go to checkout, and it... um won't let me click on my address it won't let me click like to pay it won't let me do any of that fun stuff so but overall that whole entire thing I was like maybe frozen for like a couple minutes with all of it so that's pretty good for being completely bombarded so I don't know for those of you that ever played like Pokemon Go when it first came out but that would like freeze and kick you out and you couldn't do anything and that lasted quite a while so it was pretty good just glad I got my orders placed and got my one extra for some lucky person that decides they want to order one since it will be out of stock I have to go and check what tomorrow's bundle will be and see if anybody is interested in that and I will place that order I will try to. I will get on there just like I did today. Get on there right and early. And get that going. So this is lace. Looks far more natural on me than the other did. So I am going to go in with my blush. Little man has my blush brush. So we are going to just use my foundation brush. I haven't used this before. But they say it's very universal, so let's see. I know my blush brushes because I accidentally used that on my foundation before. I really do like this brush. And that is one of the things in the Black Friday deals. If you buy seven of the bundles, then you get um, this free travel kit. And in the travel, like free little travel purse thing to hold your brushes. And inside you get, like you get the kabuki brush, you get the concealer brush, all these different brushes, which is like a huge deal for free um, by purchasing seven of the bundles. So that is worth it in itself. I will probably purchase the bundles just for that and um even if it's something i don't want i'll sell that so the other thing i am going to do that i haven't done before in my makeup try and wipe this off is i am going to use my just plain epic mascara because i've only been using my 4d Oh, the train track came apart all by itself. Okay. I will get it when I'm done. Okay? Oh, the magnet one? Okay. So I am going in with the Mood Struck Epic Mascara instead of my 40 today just to see the difference um, that it gives. And so I'm going to prime my lashes. I should be honest, this is one of the reasons I go with the 40. I like it so much and it's one step. Which you can actually prime your lashes with the 40 also if you want. It gives you more of a boost. I have a lash serum also that I have not tried yet. I haven't completely taken off everything from the past couple days when it comes to mascara. But should be good enough. Can you see that? Pretty white. I'm not sure if this is something you like double dip or not, but. So sorry, I'm. I guess I could show you that more instead of my mirror. 
I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. Like I said, this is my first time using this. I've never really primed my lashes before. I had one that came with it, but I've never needed to. So if you want that extra mint chocolate exfoliator that I ordered, let me know. I'll give you the order details, and as soon as it comes in the mail, I will deliver that to you. I'm excited. I ordered one for myself. I was thinking it would be far more chaotic than it was, so that was good. But I don't want to jinx myself, because I'll be doing it tomorrow, too. So I'm going to let that sit for just a second. See, this one's already dried. You can see it over here yet. And then I'm going to go in. I do not use this because I don't really need to. I've got pretty full lips as it is. But I'm going to go in with my Hottie Lip Plumper. Just to show you what that looks like. Um, you can also, the best for the best results, it says to put it on before you go to bed. The way it sits there overnight. Um... You can also put it on over top of like any of your splash lipsticks, things like that, and it gives it that glossy shimmer. So we shall see how that looks. But I'm excited to try it out. I do know it'll have, like for people that haven't used plumpers before, because I haven't, um, it gives you a bit of like this warm kind of stinging sensation, and that means that it's working. This is a very dry mascara compared to the 40 that is wetter. Like, no clumps even came off. Like, and don't expect this to give you the effects that the 40 does. I already know that it doesn't. This is more for your everyday wear. Doesn't give you the volume that the 40 does. And it doesn't give you the the curl as much. So there's that. There. I don't know if you have to dip this more. But I've seen some people that they don't. They dip it once and they do all of it. Well, I'm just not that person And the next time I hop on here, I will be doing the lash uh, primer with my 4D and pairing that to see how that looks. So there is that. There's one little pump. It's always in that corner my lashes like to, like my top lashes and bottom lashes like to combine. This literally is like the driest mascara I've used and that's not in like a bad sense like because it keeps them from really clumping together. It's just I haven't used this. This feels like when my other mascaras are are empty. And I'm like about ready to throw it away. But yet it adds color. So there is that. And the reason I decided to put this on today is because I already had most of my mascara off. 
where lately I haven't been really taking that off, so I didn't want to put it on over my 4D and give you a false look at that. So after the chaos has hopped down on the site, um, I will look up what tomorrow's bundle is because the site's kind of like crazy right now and things weren't showing necessarily the way they usually do. Um, so I will do that later and I will either post just a picture to show what it is or I will come on live and tell everybody. Sorry, I thought I had everything because I'm going simple today. And it turns out I did not get out my shimmer. Because regardless of how simple I go, I use my highlighter. So there is that. It's a very simple look today. I'm not even doing eyeshadow. I'm not doing it. It'll be just a relaxing day. There's no reason to get all crazy. So I thought, I told y'all I would show you my lip exfoliator. The one that I ordered before realizing that was part of the Black Friday deal that I just did today. And, which is why I didn't order any of the plain lip exfoliators. I only did the mint chocolate. And I thought that that was coming in the package I got yesterday. And I didn't realize... I ordered that with another customer's order to get the free shipping. Like an order I had placed for a customer. So that should be in soon. And that is something I do try and do if you order like through me and have me deliver it like to you. Is I try and get you that free, free shipping. Like I do bulk orders where I put customer's orders together. Um, for those that are local, or if you want to pay me directly shipping, it'll be cheaper if you're not local. And I do the bulk order and I place it all. You pay me through either PayPal, like Facebook Pay, anything like that, Venmo. I'll place the order and nobody will have to do the shipping because it'll, um, oops, it'll be free. So... That is a bonus to ordering directly, like, with me. You can, if you don't want to do that and you want it sent right to your house, like, without having the middleman, I can, or I, me, like, you can. I can give you my link. I did open a party link, um, just for Black Friday. And it's good for the next nine days. And I will be giving that link out specifically for people that are looking at placing an order. So let's go in then with the plumper and see how this looks. And I already know it'll feel a little funny. So it's this pretty, pretty shimmery color, glossy. I could have gone on with a lip color because my lips aren't that dry today. And like I said, I don't usually use any plumpers. I actually don't use them at all because I have full lips. But um, why not give it a try? I don't need more, but I'm going to go extra gloss it. So there is that look. I did an extra layer. Kind of gives almost like a cooling sensation. It's a little different. So we'll see how that feels. I'll do a picture later to let people see if it adds like. See if they think my lips look any fuller. I know it can take some work or some use, like not just 
overnight, obviously, or in one day. So if you have any questions on any of that, you want to order off of any of the upcoming um, Black Friday deals, or you have any questions on how to do it yourself, you want my link to order off of, just let me know and I'll send that to you. Um, I really like the glossiness I get from this. Which I am really excited to see how the mint, mint chocolate is for an exfoliator. And I ordered the red, it's almost like a chapstick, but it's more of a cream to go with that. And I'm excited to see how that looks also. It's supposed to be very pigmented and buildable. Like you can add as many layers of it as you would like. So for that, I am really excited. And um, for those of you that I, did, uh, I didn't say it in this video, I don't believe. But I already had primed. And I used Unique's, um, Unique's Priming and Hydrating Serum. So that is it. I only had two brushes to clean. That's really cool. Because little ones took took it. Took them out of the brush. So I'm going to go get off of here, chase down that brush, and get my day going. For anybody that has asked what um I've had some people ask what kind of sorry, I got like a really bad glare. What kind of um brush cleaner I use and I'm going to try Unique's um but I don't see like a reason until I finish this off this is my Sephora brush cleaner and it's just the daily daily brush cleaner it works works excellent like that's my brush and I just use that on blush so for any questions let me know I'm going to hop off of here I'll post my link in the comments to the my party and if you ha like need any help with any of that, I'd be happy to help you. Have a good rest of your day.